insult to injury and the storms just keep coming. Last night, one packing 72 mile an hour gusts hit the airport in Deland, causing some damage. Been a troubling few days in this area. You can't hear it, and sometimes you can't see it, but cameras at the airport captured whiteout conditions last night as powerful wind gusts tossed small airplanes around. One plane flipped over, two others severely damaged. And there was damage to several hangars as well. Fortunately, no injuries, but many had tornado flashbacks. It was here and gone, boom, like that. Andrea Wilson was home alone when the tornado hit Tuesday, her neighborhood her home right in the path. It was terrifying, but Wilson has a lot of faith. I survived heart attacks, so I feel like God's on my side. The tornado took a good whack at the house and many others. Andrea's husband Lloyd says it took more than an hour just to get down the street due to trees tossed everywhere, including on top of his place. East end of the house, the roof, the roof tree fell through the roof. Storm victims are of course contacting insurance companies, but many volunteers have come through with help in the short term. Tarps, uh, water, uh, we have uh, Chef Sustainable Meals, uh, we have uh, cleanup kits, trash bags. The Red Cross set up in a public parking lot just after the tornado hit and is still here. Teams are also going door to door bringing supplies where needed. People are grateful, you know, they're grateful to not just Red Cross, but United Way and the other organizations that are helping out during this time. Help will be needed at the not-for-profit Oakdale Cemetery, established in the late 1800s. As you can see, grave sites are buried under massive trees that tumbled. The extent of headstone damage won't be clear for a while. Coming up in our next hour, words of warning when it comes to hiring those critical contractors for repairs. In Deland, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. You can check for rain and storms anytime using the interactive radar on our West 2 News app. If you don't have it yet, it is free to download. And you can also customize weather alerts based on where you live.